Now the first step is to try DX12 in the launch option. So make our acting on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can try this in the launch option. This is provided in the video description. Copy this and then make our active properties and then put this in the launch option and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename the config folder. Uh, let me close the game for now. Rename the config folder to rename the con when you rename the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. Now to rename the config folder, open file explorer and go to documents, open paradox interactive, open the game folder. Over here you can see PDX settings. You can make a right click on PDX settings and then you can click on rename. And then you can rename it. Once you rename it, now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Rename the game folder in documents. Now for this, you can go back. You can rename this, but let me inform you when you rename this, you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. To create a backup, you can copy this folder and maybe you can paste it to the desktop. And once you have a backup created, so once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this folder. Make a right click, rename it. The game will start from scratch. Now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have AMD card, go to AMD website. If you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. This is just an example. I don't have AMD graphics. So select your graphic card and then select your operating system. And then you can download the latest graphic card driver, restart your computer and then Install it, restart your computer and then check. If you AM, NVIDIA card users, go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list, make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system and then click on find. On this page, you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver, whichever is the latest, click on view and then click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow, click on OK and then Click on agree and continue. Select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next. After the clean installation is done restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete launch the game. Still not working. Unplug all the external devices which you are not using. Disconnect all kinds of USB adapter, USB thumb drive, flash drive, USB devices connected to the computer which you are not using. Disconnect external keyboard and mouse like if you have key crown keyboard, razor hand span keyboard or mouse, you can disconnect it if you are not using. Unplug hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of like USB adapter. Disconnect extra, sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, you can close it. Close all the overlay application. First of all, disable overlay, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. If this is already off, you can turn it on and then launch the game. Now close discord, like go to discord settings, turn off overlay and then close discord. Nvidia app, if you have Nvidia app running, you can go to Nvidia app and then go to settings over here and then turn off this nvidia overlay over here turn turn it off and then close nvidia app so close all the overlay application and then check do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner or any kind of overclocking application running uh, you can close close online storage uh, like if you have one drive you can close one drive so it's hidden some somewhere over here make a right click exit now if you're using OneDrive, make sure that you're logged in and it is updated. If you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives and drive. Make a right click on the game, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, install the game to C drive. 
So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. Try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.